do you have bad days more than you have good days if you're that person who has to wake up every day and reassure yourself that today is going to be good and it ends up not being good or you only derive joy from the day whenever something eventful happens like you can't just you can't just be and then be happy like you're not that person this video is definitely for you okay hi my name is melody i'm a nigerian based content creator welcome to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and click on the subscribe button so you see more content from me but yeah without further ado let's just get into today's video <laughs> I started the morning routine and it has been awesome when I say awesome I mean awesome I have experienced a lot like a lot of positivity through these methods that I have implemented I posted a video about my morning routine about how it is the entirety of it you just get to see me practicing everything that I I practice up till now it has been great it has been really really awesome but another thing is that I feel like a lot of people are missing out on the kind of satisfaction you get when you have something like that going on for you and that is why i've come up with a couple of things that i've been doing for these few weeks and it has helped it has helped tremendously i just want to share it with you guys so if you're interested in something like this to uplift your day and get you started like on a very very positive note go ahead and stick to the video and keep watching so the first thing i'm going to be talking about on how you can actually start your day on a better note is to wake up early actually don't take that advice from me because everybody around me knows that i don't wake up early but i found that when i do the days that i wake up early even though i sleep late that is kind of like the only thing that gets me so down so i feel like it depends this first point really really depends on exactly what you do like or who you are or what your lifestyle already is so if you're someone that actually you're a night all go all out for it but just to ensure that you know you give yourself enough time to rest I don't give myself enough time to rest because I've been busy. I've been busy with work like lately, but in, in as much as I don't rest as much as I should, I've discovered that there are other things that I do that just makes me feel like, wow, I, I, is this really me? Like, I'm not saying I'm, I'm a bad person. It's <laughs> good the explanations, but I have seen that it helps tremendously well. So my second point, like sleeping well, is, is key. My second point is to pray. Um, I do pray, but you know those little prayers that you make those prayers that are intentional but not forced and not cajoled like those sincere honest prayers that you make <laughs> they change a lot those prayers change a lot and that's what i've been doing recently like i've just been out of the blue i pray like when i wake up in the morning definitely i pray and it's not like i do too much but you you, you understand that sometimes you don't do too much and you feel like oh you're not doing enough don't, don't get out of that mindset literally get out get out of that mindset and understand that whatever you say into god's ears like he takes it he takes it and he runs with it on your behalf like whatever you say into his ears he takes it i've experienced it, like basically just a few days <laughs> you don't even know like miracles happen when you open your mouth and talk to your father literally miracles happen and i'm not the person that you know does that in the morning but I do communicate with God and I know that he hears me like that's one thing that just gives me so much assurance that God God actually listens to me and I've seen that he listens to me I don't just think that he's I've seen that he listens to me I've seen that he even even the unspoken words like the ones I see in my heart he hears them and he listens to me I've seen all of that I guarantee you praying is key prayer is the key like those people that said that they have sense take it for me they have they are this far wise for my next point, I'll say you meditate. Let's just leave 20 grams out of it. I'm not saying be spiritual in another way. Meditation, I feel like, is just literally you getting in contact with yourself, trying to understand. Like, I listened to a podcast and then it was about meditation. And that was kind of like the first day of the month. It was definitely the first of the month. And I, I knew that I was stressed. Literally, I was stressed. And I listened to like the instructions to just take deep breath, connect with yourself, understand exactly what's going on. All of those things, it felt, it, it felt really, really little. Like connect with yourself, understand. And then I knew I was stressed, but I did not understand that I was stressed. Like I don't know if you get like I know. Say, see, I'm beginning to lose it because like I've complained, told my mom, 
I, I like I complained and then they were like, oh, we will suggest you need to rest. But it's just like, bro, I have work to do. I'm not coming. I know come to this life to go and rest. <laughs> but then at the same time, I felt like, okay, what is the shortcut? Your body tells you that, bro, you need to chill. But then what is that shortcut that you, that you know that if you take this shortcut here, you will rest though, but the amount of rest you're going to get is probably going to be minimal compared to the amount of rest that you might want. And that's when I discovered meditation. Because it just made me understand like, okay, this is how I'm feeling. Why am I feeling this way? What do I need to do? It makes me just get in contact with myself and understand myself better. Just meditate. Like, it's as simple as staying in a very comfortable position, you know, taking deep breaths. Asking yourself questions in your head that you have answers to, like all those kind of things. You guys, if you want me to give you an in-depth video on how to actually meditate, maybe I'll just well, basically I just do it. I just do the, the the basic stuff like just deep breaths and then trying to understand what has been stressing me, how has my day been, and all that good stuff. It works well. That's all I can say. Okay, so to my next point, I don't know. I have enjoyed journaling for the longest of time. I say that on my channel every single time. I also have a journal on Amazon. I have some journals on Amazon. I had to get some new designs like recently and they are giving. They are gi those designs are giving. So if you want to get my journal via Amazon, click on the first link in the description. But yeah, let's go ahead. Uh, journaling has, has helped me. It has helped me through the years and recently, I'm still doing it and it is just it is just cool to just get your your thoughts down to just see your everything you're thinking on paper or even turn on my camera and just talk and watch it and delete it I don't know what works for you but seriously putting it down where it doesn't have to you know um, take up space and you just yeah I feel like it's cool so totally try journaling I am an advocate for writing your thoughts down it helps Okay, the next thing I have to recommend is to exercise, to stretch, to work out. And I'm not saying like major, like go to the gym, wear, you know, your workout suit and just do all of that. No, I kind of work out in my room and it is so easy to like work out before I go into the shower. I just, you know, do some stretches. After I'm done meditating, I stretch on my bed and, you know, just those basic things like go online you can check if you want to see an exercise routine that's not something i do so i don't think it will even work well but i might want to do an in-depth money routine as the one i did because that was a talk through it was a voiceover money routine so if you want to check it out probably check it out so before i work out another thing that i love to do is to lay my bed i said it i love to lay my bed i just appreciate i just appreciate laying my bed like every morning i just I feel like it's it's okay it's okay to do it and i've learned through the, the the years i don't know if i would say years but i've learned through the years i mean doing your bed just makes everything feel better it makes everything look better and i've been doing it i've been doing that so play your bed exercise workout stretch however you know you feel like you're comfortable with doing it go ahead and do it that way and yeah plan your day the night before i'm an overthinker that's one thing like i think of everything at the same time and i feel like that kind of helps me when i i am not really there like out there thinking about what to do in my life like what will i do tomorrow what will i do how will i plan i do plan so plan your day ahead of time so that you'll be able to like know exactly what your day holds for you instead of you know letting every other thing just jump park and come in it happens to me even you know when whenever i just slack a little bit from planning my day like anything that comes i take it anything that comes i take it and then that has not been being a productive tip at all it has not been helping me to be productive in any way so plan your day the night before go ahead and just sink it in that this is what you want to do today so that nobody will come and carry their problem and come and disturb you you understand what i'm trying to say another thing you can do is to set your goals in the morning um basically it's just like you have already planned your day said this is what i want to do but in the morning when you journal i feel like it's a good time to set you know your goals at that time when you're journaling you know you have experienced the previous day the previous day is gone yesterday has passed and you know the things that happened yesterday that likely you might not want them to repeat themselves today so why not just set your goal around that like i i learned something 
it is getting like around journaling and planning your goals and putting the setting your goals it is having a to-do list a to-be list and a to feel list. like how do you want to feel today do you want to feel grumpy or like whatever is the standard you're setting for the day that's like something you have to note down that's something you have to understand if you understand yourself that much you know that even if somebody has planned you the night like you, you were planning your day the person was planning you when you wake up in the morning you just see through that person you see through every effort that they're trying to put to get you upset for that day like believe me there are some there are some people that are like that they just wake up and plan that they will give you back to back so when those kind of things happen you already your mental state is already there like no i'm not the right person for you to go you have done it yesterday knew that that's one thing like when i started doing all of these things when people just come at me with that i'm like no 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 you should have done this yesterday i think you did it yesterday <sighs> maybe me and you for long <laughs> but you're doing it today today that me my mind is already programmed to to feel happy to feel blessed to feel you know you know you're, you're just you it's wrong timing i'm sorry you can't you can't get to me today and that's one thing that you have to do like if you always feel like oh today is just going to be bad me i beg or like oh this person just spoils my day you should do these things i'm not telling you that oh this is 100 percent but coming from somebody that <laughs> my own life safe as it be i'm giving you this assurance it will work 100 percent 100 percent and the next thing that you might want to incorporate which is something that not everybody has to do you understand everybody doesn't have to do it but it's important that you know if you're trying to grow you try and do these things too is to read try as much as possible to get something to read it doesn't have to be like motivation or self something 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 it might be maybe something you're interested in it might be a story it might be something relating to your job if you have a job it might be something relating to your business if you have a business like randomly just go ahead and read something like read something that is going to give you some sort of knowledge that you'll be needing don't go and read this signboard <laughs> just go ahead and like try as much as possible to read something even if it is not that all those aesthetic looking books that some of us read Go ahead and try and read something if it's something off the internet you can save or bookmark a page and then you go ahead and read you know something out of it every single day or every other day it might be some twitter chat like let's not even underestimate the internet or social media like it might be some there are some twitter chats that i've seen and i've read i'm like wait how did this person come up with this like this person is smart no this person is smart there are some wisdom even on the internet like you got you you follow some of these people who drop hot sticks and you know who, who spit facts and when it comes to life and every other thing in general i'm not saying go and be looking at a celebrity gossip it's important once in a while <laughs> but read something it might be a twitter thread about something you're interested in about you know um upgrading your business something just go ahead and have something in your head that this is something that you did today or that you learned today that just that changed how you thought about something you understand this is something that you learned today that helped you unlearn something yeah that's that's like kind of it so i just really hope this video helps somebody out there because it is i'm not saying like i'm an expert in these things but this is what i've done i understand that these things will work and i'm just here to help like at any point in time i'll be able to help and that's why i keep saying like i keep trying out these things and telling you did this work did this not work if it did why don't i let you know that it worked i'll let you know it works and we'll just keep going from there so do well to get this video a thumbs up subscribe leave a comment and i'll definitely just i'll just cook up something something beautiful for my next video for you guys thank you very much for watching bye until until the next time we're going to kiss again <laughs> bye